hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another car build and tune in episodes. Last episode, we tuned up a Datsun 510, and it, to be fair, now it turned out to be a sick car. It was a rust bucket. It looked absolutely amazing. So we're gonna get straight into picking the next car. Um, like every time, um, I always close my eyes, and whatever it lands on, I just tune it up. So let's close my eyes. As you can probably see right now, uh, my eyes are covered. Um, we're scrolling right now. Um, I kind of want it to go a little bit further, seeing as we was on N. Um, so let's go down. Uh, let's stop there. Okay, so Ford RS two hundred. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> drifting this. That's going to be a madness, because um, this car is pretty crazy as it is. So to try and drift this at the same time, like, come on, bro, because uh, this is pretty much a rally car. Um, in terms of paints, I don't think there's going to be any good ones that I like. Uh, so we're just going to go in with a... We'll just go for a white um, Ford RS200. There we go. Wow. Okay, so this is going to be crazy. This is generally going to be insane. Like, this car, even using it off-road and stuff, it's crazy as it is. So to actually drift it, like, bruh, come on. <laughs> it's not good, is it? Um, so... <laughs> It's a fun car, it's going to be fun, uh, but we've got to see how this goes. So let's jump into the garage, um, into upgrades right now. <coughs> okay, so, custom upgrades. What are we looking at? Let's have a look at the engine. Um, 4.5 V8. I don't think we're going to do that, to be honest. Um, we've got 506 horsepower as stock. Um, I don't know what the stock engine is, um, so... Let's chuck in rear wheel drive, obviously. We don't, we don't want all wheel drive. Um, let's have a look at some body. No, fours of shit. Um, on the rear, we got fours of shit as well. We don't want that. Okay, on to tyres and rims. We're going to go for. Uh, uh, there's no sport. I wanted to go for sport tyre compound to give us that extra little bit of. You know, a little bit of grip. Um, but seeing as there's none, we're going to go to stock tyre compound right there. Alright. In the front, what are we gonna go? Should we say, let's go two six fives on the front. <laughs> to be fair, let's stick with stock. Two four fives on the front. Let's stick with how it is on the front. Two four fives um, on the rear. Two eight fives. Okay, let's bring the front up a tiny bit then. Uh, let's bring the front up to two six fives. There we go. Already installed on the car apparently. Pretty sick. Okay. So in terms of rims, I just like the stock rims on this car. Generally, I'm, I'm just going to stick with stock rims. You can choose whatever rims you want. Um, just go for that. Um, tire size, I can't really adjust it. Seeing as I've got the stock rims. Don't know why I pressed B again, but I did. Um, so I want to drive train. Um, everything in drive train is going to be pretty much race. Um, so just go through and do that yourselves. You know how to do that. Don't put the, the Storm Island upgrade on there. Um, we don't want to shorten the gears to oblivion and back. You know, We don't want to ruin those gears too much. So Missed out the drive line. Gonna be an absolute idiot. 1000 kilos in this car. Pretty crazy, yo. Pretty crazy. Um, so, we're gonna go race brakes. Um, I've been going with kind of sport brakes recently, uh, but let's go back to the race brakes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the off road springs and dampers on. Um, we could go with just the race springs and dampers, but we're gonna go the off road one, give us that extra little bit of uh, steering lock. That might help us, you know. Uh, weight reduction. To be honest, I'm not going to do it. We've got 1,000 kilos in this car. Um, it's already light enough as it is. Okay, power. We're already 513. So let's give it a little bit no more noise. Let's go for an exhaust and air filter up here. Um, turbo, we won't upgrade it. Intercooler, we don't really need to. Just chuck over the flywheel. Um, we've got 523 horsepower, which is more than enough in this car. So short wheelbase, really light. And with 500 horsepower, we have got plenty. One sheep be plenty, as they say, you know. <laughs> so let's jump um, into the free roam here. Um, shock, it's raining. <laughs> so let's head down to... Where should we head? Should we head to... Let's go down to the dock area. Let's start drifting around this area around here. Let's start drifting around here, please. Please. Oh, this car's going to be a madness, though. 
this car is going to be an absolute madness. Sorry, it's been a long day. <laughs> I just want to kind of go to bed, even though it's like 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, but I'm going to get this video out for you guys, get it rendered, and get it uploaded. So let's up the volume here. Oh, God, I've hit the wall already. That's not good. Um, so what we're going to do straight off, um, obviously we've got the off-road suspension on. Um, so we don't want it really high. And we don't want it... Okay, gearing's got to go a lot shorter. Um, so let's just go down to about that. Alignment, I'll leave it for now. And roll bars, really soft. So I'm going to go a lot stiffer um, because the cars are normally a lot stiffer um, with anti roll bars and stuff. So let's do that because uh, obviously this car is made for off-road. It's an off-road car, and it's got off-road suspension on it. So we want to make it kind of feel like a normal car. So we're going to go a lot stiffer with the suspension. See, it is very soft as stock with the off-road suspension ride height we're gonna go all the way down um, as you'll see as we exit out of the tune um, you'll see the car drop to the floor so it looks just as it would with race suspension I guess um, about the same so not too bad there um, so let's stiffen up the car in terms of the rebound and bump stiffness as well there we go brake diff uh, brake pressure I'm gonna come down to about let's go to 85 that should be fine okay with the differential, we're just going to lock it. We're going to lock that differential, just like we do with every single car, um, as usual. So, pretty much just a base tune right there. As you probably saw, the car just dropped to the floor, uh, which is what we wanted. Okay. Whoa. I don't know what to think yet. This isn't enough oomph, if you know what I mean, so... We're gonna... I'm gonna camber this up a bit, we're gonna put a little bit more tyre pressure into, into this as well, because... It feels very lackadaisical, it just doesn't want to accelerate. Which is a problem in a car, you know, you've got to accelerate in a car, especially a drift car. Uh, you want to get those tyres spinning up. Okay, the tyre pressure in the front seemed fine, the wheel felt quite reactive, so... I don't normally do this, but I'm going to go quite higher in the rear, just to try and get those tyres spinning. Um, we're going to go negative camber in the rear as well. Uh, we're going all out to get these tyres spinning. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep shortening, shortening those gears right up, just to try and get those wheels spinning as well. And we can work our way back to a bit of a longer setup, as we do, as we go on. Okay, we got to keep going. Yeah, we, uh, that gearing has got to come right down. Um, we could jump out and put some more power into it. Uh, we could like upgrade the turbo or something. Uh, but let's try and get this to work. Um, so let's camber this right up. Let's go for like 1.8. Let's just bring up the front to kind of kind of balance the car a little bit. Okay. Uh, and you uh, what was I planning to do? Gearing. That is it. I want to get this accelerating. I want to get the car oomphing. You know, the gears are going to be very short, but we want. We need tire spin. We need tire spin badly. Okay, there we go. We got tire spin. And gears don't even feel that short either, which is good. We got the tire spin we're aiming for though, so that's good. Oh, it's bogged down there. So this car, it might be just one of those cars where you just got to use all of the gears if you know what I mean. Um, just kind of like up the gears like in this corner go down to gear 2 like that and then come out of gear 2 and accelerate out of the corner yeah I think it's just the car where all that, for those shorter corners we're gonna have to go down into gear 2 um, but yeah it feels okay now I think the gear in is just far too long for this car um, obviously seeing as it is an off-road car as stock I'm very known off-road car as well so you could probably take this off-road and you wouldn't even notice sorry that was just me fucking up there I don't even know why I entered that early just kind of bailed out of it I was like yep <laughs> no longer happening okay so it doesn't the balance doesn't feel too bad seeing as it is a rear engine car as well I mean, it doesn't feel bad at all um, it is a little bit of a struggle to get it sideways but once it is sideways, it does feel like an absolute monster, which is good. It's got the tyre spin that we need. 
There we go. That's what we wanted. Nice corner like that. Boost. Yeah, but this car don't feel too bad, you know. Really, really snappy transitions. Wow. So through that tight section there, I'm just using gear two. Uh, but around these longer corners, gear three is just it's surprising how long it is, considering we shorten up those gears a lot, you know. Whoa. Okay. One thing to always remember though, this car is rear engine and you can't forget that you can't be throwing it into corners too hard uh, because obviously there is a lot of weight in the rear which is pretty crazy you know crazy to think you're throwing an engine around in that rear while you're in the front just like done in don't know why I brake then but I did okay but yeah this car feels pretty nice you know it feels a nice car Feels very nice actually. Feels a fun car to drive. Like it's a short wheelbase. And when you kind of get used to it a little bit, it does start performing. You know, it does start performing. Look at this. Transitions are so snappy though. Just like from one side to the other. But you gotta expect that from a really really short wheelbase car. And the transition was a little bit too snappy there. Uh, but they're also the transitions are very snappy because this is a very light car. Um, with a rear engine as well as you got to, you got to remember that fact uh, just keep into your head that it is a rear engine car look how stable that was that was crazy but it's got plenty of power plenty of power uh, so it's just all about gear, sort, sorting the gearing out in this car that was the problem there we go look at this this guy is a bit of a monster now, you know. I don't know what the hell happened there. I, I, yeah, I went off the side of a cliff. <laughs> I'm never coming back from that cliff again. Bruh. Oh, fuck. No, come back. Yeah, thank you. Alright, let's give this a couple more runs. Um, I might switch up a little bit of the tune. But it does feel pretty nice as it is, so... There's no point upgrading something that feels nice. Or changing something that feels nice, sorry. Because you might ruin that balance that you kind of got used to in this car. And you'll add something else in. Uh, but you could also make it a little bit better, but it's it's good now. There's no point changing something that works, right? Uh, but I am going to... I am going to try and get the rear a tiny bit looser. Because it does feel a tiny bit grippy in the rear. But that could be because, um, obviously, I've got tyre pressures. Um, not tyre pressures, the tyre whip, sorry. Um... They're quite quite high, uh, especially for a car like this. Um, the gearing seems fine. I'm just going to leave the gearing um, alignment. We're just going to up the camber just a tiny bit more. Uh, not too much, but just enough, you know, just enough. And so this, adjust the front caster as well uh, to six, and that should be pretty much it, hopefully. Cool, pretty fun car. Not going to lie. Um, let's see if that camber and tire pressures helped a little bit. It should off. Uh, it should make it a lot slidier, but we don't want it to make it too loose that we kind of throw in the rear around like an absolute. I don't know what throws the rear around. Not a lot really. Yeah, here we go. So it's got the absolute tire spin now. Look at that. Oh yes. Oh, I've done it again. If you catch those rear wheels on the bottom of that. But all of that little slope, you are gone. You're down that slope, you ain't coming back. <laughs> yeah, this car feels sick. This is a madness. This is the absolute madness. I didn't expect an off road car that is probably built to oh, I've done it again oh my god why do I keep throwing it in like that um, a car that is built to be off-road it's surprising they can actually drift like if you put your mind to it and you tune it how you want to tune it because um, it's come out really really well the gearing is absolutely amazing um, if you just use gear 2 like corners like this and then switch up to gear 3 for corners a bit longer like this one and this one um, you can also use gear 4 if you want to, but be, be aware that it does bog down a little bit, gear 4. Uh, but you can just make it a tiny bit shorter in the gearing. Um, but yeah, pretty nice car. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it here somewhere. I don't know where. I just kind of want to finish that corner. There we go. Uh, so we're going to leave it there. Um, what I will do for you guys is I'm going to upload this tune onto the storefront for you. So if you do want to download this, um, I will just change the gearing quickly while I say this. Uh, just gear 4. I'm just going to shorten it up for you guys just in case you do need gear 4 uh, to rescue you around those really longer corners. And so shorten that right up. There we go. Um, so I'm just going to upload this onto the storefront for you guys. Um, so let's save the setup. Um, just in case you don't want to copy it down from the video or something like that, um, you can just go onto the storefront, search for Gamertag, which is Kevin Toll, the same as my YouTube name, and find it on there, download it, saves copying it down, saves being, having a lot of effort, you know, um, around here. So let's put it up as Drift, um, best for handling. I always put them as best for handling, but I don't know if they are, uh, but they feel nice sideways, so that's got to be good, right? Um, so that's that. Um, that is uploaded, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, next episode, we'll be doing the randomness again. Um, going in with another random car. Um, if I didn't do it like this, we wouldn't be pulling out cars like a Ford RS200 right now. But this has performed really well. Very nice rear engine drift car. So I hope you guys try this out. If you do, uh, leave a comment just saying how good it is. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.